We go from one legend to another. The David Williams Significant Historical Achievement Award winner for this year is the late Perry Wallace. He's already a member of the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame and unfortunately we lost him three years ago. But Perry Wallace, integrating Southeastern Conference basketball in the late 1960s, changed the landscape of sport forever. Perry Wallace was born in Nashville in 1948. Wallace played basketball and ran track for the then segregated Pearl High School. Wallace won all Metro, all state, and all America honors. He was also the valedictorian of his high school class. I would say that education and faith were the two most important elements of the Wallace family uh, as Perry was growing up. Coming out of high school as one of the top prospects in the country, Wallace could have chosen a number of places for college. He contemplated leaving the tumultuous South and going up North, but eventually he decided to stay in his hometown of Nashville and enrolled as a scholarship athlete at Vanderbilt University. But for an African-American basketball player at a mostly white private college in the South, the road would not be easy. It was so Southern and so backwards and so racially divided, he had never see, had a white teacher in his life. We both suffered a vile form of discrimination which expected us to be happy. Many, many can disagree about what we did or what we said at that time, but to tell young men uh, not to express uh, their feelings of fear and despair uh, was a real tragedy at that time. So that was hard for him to be the pioneer, but maybe not always appreciated on either side. Frankly, he was very much alone. Wallace became the first African-American varsity basketball player in the SEC. He led the team in rebounding each year with a career average of 11 and a half boards per game, the second best in school history. You know, he was a tremendous rebounder. I, you know, I like to push the ball up the court. You know, he'd get the rebound, kick it out to me, and we would start running. Wallace was the first black athlete to complete four years at an SEC school, but it didn't come without a price. I mean, Perry did everything that they asked him to do. And then when his playing days was over, he sat down for an interview and uh, talked about the fear, the isolation, and the, uh, the, the pain that he felt during uh, his college career and how he felt incomplete. Perry Wallace went on to become a trial attorney at the United States Department of Justice. He became a professor of law at the American University Washington College of Law in 1993. And in 2004, Vanderbilt retired his jersey number 25. Anybody who would look at him and say he was just a basketball player would be missing the boat because he was truly a Renaissance man truly well-rounded and what he did for this conference, what he did for this city, what he did for this university, it's a debt that we can probably never repay. Through his legacy, he paved the way for so many others to come. The Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame is honored to present Perry Wallace with the David Williams Significant Historical Achievement Award.